ladies and gentlemen. Hey, what do you, that's my food. What are you doing with it? It's time for duck. Oh, God. Oh. Get out of my way. God, people these days. Thank you for holding the elevator, man. Get out. Come on. Hey, you. You want to be a PA? Push me in set. Go that way. Go that way. Yeah. Go quicker. Go faster. Come on. Hey, hey, what? Hey, watch it. Watch where you're going. Uh, you get out of the road. And here he is, Truman Colocat. Do the... Do the what? Your monologue. <laughs> that stupid thing. Do it every show. I don't... Doesn't mean it ain't stupid. I don't... What the hell get this mic stand? Get this out of here. So... What's the deal with, uh, baseballs? Am I right, guys? Am I right, Thomas? Baseballs. Thomas, you're, you're really killing the joke right now, man. I didn't kill the joke. You, you killed the joke. It's dead. You gotta say a joke for me to kill it? Oh, right, but I jokes. watched you tie the joke up in rope and throw it into the river. You killed the joke. There's no joke, because you're not funny. Oh! Sorry, oh! You heard me. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a special event tonight because it's fight night! We got Thomas the Terrible T-Rex versus Truman T-Ball Kohler Cats and fight. Brother. You know, you know, Thomas, you think you're such a baller. Well, you're Whoa. not a baller. Oh. You're nothing. You're fake. You Truman. can't be a baller. Truman oh. Kohler Cats. What scumbag goes by three names? Oh. Oh. Talent and skill. Oh, skill. How can you even host from behind that nose? You oh. Oh. oh, you want to see what I can do? Oh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, oh, it's fight night! Fight night! Yo, what's up, guys? Me and my boys here with the oh, California boy. crew. We're out here doing some radical gnarly stuff, man. You know, we coming out here, we playing frisbee. Oh, we playing some cool stuff. Come and follow us on our radical adventure, friend. Don't be bogus. Yo, you think you might be the bad boy? What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 it's a joke. Yeah, pick it up. You're a radical idiot. Go like this. That's why we don't hang out with you anymore. Yeah. Come on, don't be an amateur. Said hike. Gnarly. Come on, man. Kicking it old school. Sick catch, bro. Radical. Hey, I'm a shark. Um, what I do, you may know me from my reoccurring roles in Jaws, Jaws 2, and Finding Nemo. Uh, I'm just here with my son, Stanley. It's his first swim today. I pooped him out like two days ago. Can't really seem to find him, but I'm sure he's fine, so. Father-son bonding. Okay, am I done? Yeah. Let's get wet. Peace. Kill that baby shark. Party foul, dude. Run for it, bro. 
game over, man. A water park slide designer is in jail after being arrested at DFW Airport yesterday. John Shuley is the designer of Schlitterbahn water slides, in which a 10-year-old boy was decapitated. Shuley lacked the technical and engineering expertise to build the ride. He's being held without bond at the Dallas County Jail pending charges that include second-degree murder. A Kansas jury also indicted co-owner co of the water park, Jeffrey Henry. He's accused of making a spur-of-the-moment decision to build the ride that killed the child. Facebook CEO Mark Zuckerberg is set to testify before Congress next week about the company's consumer data privacy issues. It was revealed last month that a data firm was able to access information on roughly 50 million Facebook users without their knowledge. Cambridge Analytica's purpose for accessing the information was to conduct voter targeting. The chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee said the April 11th hearing will be a good chance to explore consumer data out. privacy issues. All right. Coming up next, okay. UNT women's... Oh, I got this. Golf action and a big tournament win for UNT basketball. Stay with us. Welcome back to the show. I'm your host, Jeremy Clark Katz, and this is Talk, the number one show for the Russian TV Federation. As you can see, our co-host Thomas decided to go shoot Thomas on the street right now. So we need to find a new co-host. So today, we've got Casey Rusu. I don't, I don't like going home. Aww. Good. Braden, whatever his last name is, I think it's lasagna? I'm not sure. Close enough. Yeah. And a grease man. <laughs> Where did we find this guy? <laughs> oh, there's somebody under my desk. Who's in there? Yeah. Give me in the knee. Give him the bats. <laughs> Silver one. Get back under the desk. <laughs> Stay in there. Don't you make a noise again, okay? Oh. Or else I'm gonna have to get the stick. Turn around. I'm mad. See how mad I am? Oh. If you get a question right, you're gonna hit Mike. Please you hit get a me, Daddy. Wrong? Stop being weird. All right, Mike. First question. I really, really hope you get this wrong. Which chemical element has the shortest name? Fifteen uh, seconds. Uh, 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 Think about your sad family uh, life. It'll help you get uh, the answer. Uh, 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 uranium. It's tin. Oh. Tin's an tin's not an element. It is now. At the beginning of the 1990s, which country had the most camels? The African country of Djibouti. That's incorrect, it was Somalia. Oh, oh. Now, Grease Man, go. <laughs> Question. I really like this game. Sculptor that did the Statue of Liberty based the face off of what? Oh, go. What? what? <gasps> That's actually correct. It is in his language. That is his mom. Yeah, you're right. <gasps> Hit Mike. Oh. All right, next question. Go. Another question. Sorry. Incorrect. Oh. No, Brandon. Hit Mike. I said hit him. I'm sorry. Oh. No. Again. This time with passion. <gasps> oh. Reese, man, you've got the last question <gasps> for all the marbles. <gasps> There are 60 cups on the table. If one falls, how many remain? Ah, he's, he's escaping. Hey, he's escaping. Oh, no. Go after him. The right answer was six. But you know what? We're all winners here. I'm allergic to confetti. <laughs> That's the show. 
In the brick and mortar jungles of Denton, Texas, resides Homo Astonicus, but you may call him the Grease Man. Though timid, the Grease Man is a scavenger by nature, willing to eat anything he may find. Astonishing. Always the curious explorer, the Grease Man occasionally wanders into nearby buildings. The mysteries of mankind perplex him, for it is beyond his understanding. Oh look, the Grease Man has found a music-making machine. Let us join him on his discovery. Amazing. Here we find the Grease Man searching through a series of trash cans for food. Unbeknownst to him, poachers lurk nearby. They have found their prey. The Grease Man flees for his life. With an unbelievable amount of tenacity, he evades his pursuers. Yet the poachers are unequivocally incorrigible. One poacher even throws his bat, anything to close the gap between them and their prey. Run, Grease Man! Run! The survival of his species depends on if he can escape. After running for miles, the Grease Man succumbs to his fatigue, and the poachers begin to bludgeon him with blows. The cruelty of mankind knows no bounds. After mercilessly beating him for hours, his captors finally relent. They carry off their prize with elation. The Grease Man runs free no more. Jake? Yes. All right, nice to meet you. Do you have a job? I do not. You do not have a job. Would you like a job? No, not right now anyway. Why not? <laughs> what color is your underwear right now? Turquoise. Turquoise? That's interesting. Yes, please show me. Yes, turquoise, green, okay. and blue. Are you getting this? Turquoise, That's green. Enough. Turquoise, green, and blue. Plaid. I like it. It's a nice warm and cozy. It is fantastically wet, nice warm and cozy. That's great to hear. How are you doing today? Good. Just good? Uh, probably failed two tests, so not really, no. That is not good. No, that is not good. Ooh, man. What's the sexiest animal? Me. You're the sexiest animal. Oh, yeah. You think you're smart? Mm -hmm. You are smart. What's your GPA? GPA 3.334? Could be better. Would you mind telling me your phone number? My phone number? Yes. Uh, yeah, probably. You would mind? You don't want me to have your phone number? I thought you Okay. What are you? <laughs> Hey, hey, can I talk to you for a second? <coughs> What's your name? <coughs> That's your name? <coughs> Do you have a job? <coughs> you don't have a job? <coughs> yeah, yeah, I feel that, I feel that. Are you broke? It's the economy, man. Right, dude, right? <coughs> right, these stocks, up and down. It's crazy. <coughs> 
Is she's recording? I don't know if she is, but I don't, I don't know her. You don't know her? I just walk around with the mic. Just ignore her. Welcome back to the show. Uh, today uh, we have in to interview, we have Austin Waybright, our new Thomas, Casey Russo, but Thomas will be back for the weekend sketch later on, and um, Brayden. Just Brayden. Yeah, just Brayden. I don't know his last name. It's um, Langoliers. Um, the Lumineers. Lumineers. Oh, I love that band. It's all of those. Okay, so ah, I. I'm not looking forward to this at all. Our producers had a great idea to eat some hot sauce. We've got here our Cajun Fiery Foods Get Bitten Black Mamba 6 Hot Sauce. Yeah. You know, Hot Ones is pretty popular right now, so I guess they decided to rip that off. Um, and, uh, well, I just got to ask you guys before we eat this, what's the spiciest food you've ever eaten? I don't know. I don't remember food. Um, when I, last time I went to a Thai restaurant, and I ordered like the spiciest thing. They went, are you sure? Uh, the spicy meatball sub at Subway. Oh, wow, wow, that is oh, man, that's wow. a killer. Well, fun My fact, mom that, died that is that. known as the spiciest food in the world. Yeah, um, so I'm ready for this. By Greg, I don't know who he is. Um, I Greg. All right, so I guess on three, and then we'll just do an interview. Um, this boys. show sucks, I hate all of y'all. Um, on three, one, two, three. Not too bad. Oh yeah. Nope. It's wow. immediately bad. <laughs> Alright. That's questions. <laughs> how was your day? Um, so you know we have That's what you start with? <laughs> you start with how's your day? <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> so uh, it was alright. I, uh, I got a lot of stuff going on, but you know I got more stuff to go on later. Uh, <laughs> oh. Hang on, hiccups. Why did I close this? Uh, uh. I woke up late <laughs> to set, and now I'm wishing I never came to set. Oh, I got it. Oh, there's something in my teeth. Oh. Y'all got any personal projects going on? Oh, oh man. man. Oh. Oh. I recently got hired. I hired a new, new job. I'm looking. I'm really excited to get started there. Um. Oh. I got a. Um, I'm working on a short film, and um, I'm, I'm on Me this too. show. And I gotta go work on another show afterwards. Mm. I'm directing a uh, short film that I co-wrote. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> that's really cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this is great. Uh, Truman, how, how, what are you doing? Uh, uh, no, you don't ask the interviewer questions. <laughs> He asked us questions. <laughs> uh, <laughs> let's go! I need another question. <laughs> Give me a question, Truman. Um, <laughs> Truman, this is for the show. Do it for the joke. If a, if a tree falls for us, does, does noise? <laughs> no! <laughs> Truman, come on, get more questions. Get my mind off this. Uh, 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 um, uh, um, oh, guys, um, I'm lactose intolerant too. What's your favorite um, British Prime Minister? Uh, oh, Angela Merkel. No, that's yeah. Germany. I'm <laughs> um, um, uh, Who won the Oscar um, this year? Um, um, David Tennant. That's the, well, that, that's the doctor. Who won, no. <laughs> who won the Oscar this year? Uh, mm. Gary Oldman. Gary Oldman. James Cameron. <laughs> David Cameron. Gary Oldman. James Cameron. Nah. Oh, I get it. Gary, Winston Churchill. Gary Oldman. He won World War II. By himself with his bare hands. With him and him, him and FDR. He's him also and extremely and racist. Casey, thoughts? Hmm? Mm -hmm. <laughs> thoughts on racism. Oh, man. Racism is uh, it's, it's formally institutionalized in America, and it's something that we can't seem to escape, even though it's in 2018. <laughs> If you look around and you see the gentrification of many, man, this is many me. places in America. It's really sad to see because I know we're better than that. Ah! Why is Trump your favorite president? I'm out of milk. Uh, he's got a, a really strong central government. I'm out of milk. And that's a bad uh, question. Why I'm out of milk. Ah! Oh, I made it work. I can see through time. Ah! Ah! Oh my God. 
you're ready. Hello, what's your name? I'm Thomas. Um, pop rocks, voodoo or science? Voodoo. Okay. Do you believe in society's lies? Yes. 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 Which specific lies do you believe in and are your favorite? Hmm. That this like bag of chips isn't like half empty. Which is why it's I paid not for it. half empty? Yeah. What do you think? I don't like him. Cool. And this is where they go. <laughs>